Hello everybody. Uh, welcome to session two uh, of chapter in vertebrates. Objective of today's class is to differentiate different types of bees, to explain life cycle of honeybee, and to, to list uses of honeybee. Honeybees are social insect because they live together in large group and they have division of labor among them. Like you know, what there are three types of bees that we'll be discussing later. Those each type of bee has got different kind of function, and the rearing of honeybees is known as apiculture. If you go to classification of honeybee, then kingdom is animal, succumdom is invertebrate, phylum orthopoda, because they have jointed legs. Uh, class is insecta because their body is divided into three parts head, legs, and abdomen. And common name is honeybee. And if you look at here, this is uh, worker bee. And here you can see the pollen bag. And this pollen bag is used to collect pollen grains and nectar. If we talk about types of honeybee, then in a beehive, there are three types of uh, honeybees, and this category has been done on the basis of their work. A queen bee, this is the largest bee in a hive. Drone bee, it is middle size. And worker bee, it is the smallest one in the beehive. Queen bee. So queen bee, it is easily, uh, you know, we can easily identify in a beehive because it is the largest one in a beehive. Uh, though its body is very much bigger than the other normal bees, but its high, its head is comparatively small, uh, and the proboscis means mouth parts are also very short. And it has a stinger at the end of the abdomen. And its main job is to lay the eggs. Beside laying eggs, it also control and direct other bees of hive in different situations. And the one uniqueness that this bee has, the uniqueness is uh, it releases a unique smell known as pheromone. And because of this pheromone, other bees of hive, they always, uh, you know, uh, bind it together and they recognize their queen bee and plus they recognize their beehive. Drone bee, it is a male bee and they are smaller than the queen bee but are bigger than worker bee and they don't have any like honey making or poisonous gland or stinges uh, and pollen sacs also because they are not supposed to collect the pollen also. And they have to, even they cannot eat themselves, so they are fed by the worker bee. And they have only one job, that is to fertilize the queen bee. Worker bee, so these are the smallest uh, bees, and they are actually female, but they are sterile. And they are found, though it is found, it is smallest, but they are the one which population is maximum in the uh, beehive and its body is divided into head thorax abdomen as you can see and they also have three pairs of jointed legs and these legs have a special pollen basket and these pollen baskets are used for collecting uh, pollen grains and nectar and these bees are very hard working and their their function is to source pollen nectar from flowers drill the hive take care of larva circulate air by heating by beating their wings uh, in the summer time and fight with enemies to protect their hive like other insects uh, the life cycle of bee also completes in four stages egg larva pupa and adult and in a beehive if the number of bees you know they, it becomes more then the co the old queen bee it will form a new group of bees and within that uh, it one of the bees will become queen bee and the mature queen bee and drone bee they get out from the beehive 
uh, for mating and these bees they only come out just for mating other time they just always remain inside the beehive only for the mating purpose queen bee and then drone bee they come out of the beehive and then uh, they make they make the mating uh, during their flight and that flight flight is called mating flight or nuptial flight and whenever uh, the mating takes place then all the eggs which are present inside the abdomen of the queen bee are not fertilized and on fertilized eggs later turns into drone bee or male bee whereas fertilized uh, eggs later turn into uh, worker bee or queen bee and uh, the unfertilized egg has 16 chromosomes inside it whereas fertilized egg has got 32 number of chromosomes the queen bee mates after three to five days of its maturity means after emerging from the uh, like pupa uh, then three to five days later then it starts mating and after mating of two to three days then it will start laying eggs and it can lay 3000 eggs in a day during favorable weather and the, the egg is white in color and elongated in shape and in the first day uh, the the position of the egg is uh, i mean it is uh, like a, a erect straight upward in second day it will be slightly slanted slanted means it makes angle with the wall of the cell but on third day it will lie down on the on the cell and what does the queen bee does is you know like queen bee does not lay the eggs randomly like there is separate cell for each type of bee like if the queen bee wants to make worker bee then the queen bee will lay that eggs in worker cell if the queen bee uh, wants to give wants to form um, like drone bee then it will it will lay the eggs in drone cell and if it wants to make the queen bee then it will lay the eggs in queen cell so according to the nature of the uh, like uh, uh, like eggs uh, it will lay the eggs in different cell and these eggs it will last for three days in all kind of bees And the egg will hatch after three days of laying eggs and the larva stays it will last for five to 5.5 days um, do, do for the queen bee whereas six days for worker and drone bees the larva of queen and drone bees is larger than that of worker bee and both the queen and worker bees are female bees as i told you before but the future growth and development depends upon the food they are fed actually queen and worker bee they are the female bee but uh, the differentiation will depend upon the food they are fed if it is going to be queen bee then what the worker bee does is it will feed it will feed uh, royal jelly uh, until it is fully grown so if the royal jelly is uh, fed to larva for its whole uh, stage then it turns into uh, queen bee but if the same larva is fed up to three days royal jelly and then remaining days it will feed bee bread then it turns into worker bee in the same way uh, the larva which is going to turn into a drone bee they f they they feed um, royal jelly for three days and then remaining days bee bread and then it turns into drone bee and the larva undergoes molting for four to five times uh, molting means changing the body skin pupa it is inactive stage of life cycle of any insect so here also in the life cycle of honeybee it is the inactive stage of life cycle and it is being protected by the puparium or cocoon it remains protected inside the cocoon uh, though it it looks inactive from outside but inside you know there are so many active changes going on and that active changes is called metamorphosis and during this time they it stops feeding and the, it completes this stage uh, by eight days for queen bee uh, 12 days for worker bee and 14 days for 
drone bee. So within eight days, uh, this will turn into queen bee if it has to be queen bee. In the same way, 12 days for worker bee and 14 days for drone bee. And after that, the pupa changes into adult bee. And the one which just emerges out from the cell that is called imago that breaks the puparium wall or cocoon wall and then release outside. And within 15 to 16 days, uh, the, it will uh, like uh, from egg to adult, it takes time for queen bee and 20 to 21 days for worker bee and 20 to 24 days for drone bee to raise adult stress from egg. So here once again, uh, let's revise. If queen bee, then it will take time three days for egg, larva 5.5 days, and pupa 7.5 days. In total, it will take around 16 days to go from eggs to adult. Whereas worker bee, uh, it will go for 21 days, and for the, for the drone bee, it takes 23.5 days. That means uh, queen bee is formed quicker than the other rest of the bee. The reason can be because queen bee is fed royal jelly, special jelly. And the newly born worker bee, because uh, out of these three types of bees, uh, queen bee and drone bee, they don't have any work. Uh, so worker bee has to uh, maintain uh, all the work that that is within the hive. So the newly born worker bee are given the tax inside the hive for the first three weeks. For the first three weeks, the worker bee will work inside the beehive. So what they do, they, they feed the young larva, they guard the cells, they construct and repair the cells. But after three weeks, then they, they just go to out of the beehive and collect pollen grains, nectar, guard the beehive, and combat with the enemies and they also regulate the temperature inside the beehive in summer time and make the honey. Division of work according to the caste and age of bee. So as you know that there are three types of bee. So root, each type of bee has a different function. That's why it is also called social insect. And drone, it is a male bee so it doesn't have any other function uh, than what to fertilize the queen. Uh, also, it also helps to maintain the temperature of the beehive. Queen bee, uh, it lay the eggs. The, this is the major function of the queen bee. But it also secret pheromone, a uh, unique uh, like smell, and that helps to conduct and control the beehive. And worker bee, uh, according to the age, uh, the worker bee has different functions. Like uh, the first three days, uh, they are these worker bees are also called infant bees and they are very weak and feed on scattered food and they they are newly born so they learn to walk and help to clean the comb and it also covers the egg larva and pupa to keep them warm so the first three days worker bee does not have so much major function it just helps to clean the comb and also cover egg larva and pupa, pupa to keep them warm the worker of four to six days, uh, now they are a little bit grown up, so it helps to feed on lar old larva and also consume large amount of honey and pollen themselves to grow. So the major function it does within these days is they feed on the old larva. If when worker turns into seven to 11 days, then the royal gland is developed on the head and this helps to produce royal jelly. If you remember, Royal jelly is a special food that is fed to larva and that is produced by the royal jelly, royal gland that is produced on the head of the worker bee at the age of 7 to 11 days. And they feed this royal jelly to young larva and queen bee and feed plenty that sense. Worker bee of 12 to 7 days, this royal gland will degenerate, means it will disappear. But what happens? Four pairs of wax gland will be produced. And this wax gland will produce wax, and these waxes, they, they, it, they, what they do, they make new combs, and seal the cells if they are damaged with the honey and larva inside them. An worker bee of 18 to 20 days, uh, the wax gland also will degenerate. But what happens? Uh, poisonous glands and stings are developed, 
so they guard the cone from enemies that means now they have the works gland is gone so now they have pointless gland and stanges and that helps to guard the comb from the enemies and after 21 days means after third week they do the tax outside the beehive like collecting the nectar water and pollens from the jungles the garden and family till their death so this is how work division is done in enemy so uh, now use of honeybee so honeybee is very useful insect uh, because it produces honey and this honey is very high in nutrition and also can be used as medicine for different diseases like diabetes and to make different types of candies, cakes and breads. And also bee produces, especially worker bee, it produces wax and this wax can be used to make candles, soaps, cosmetic items, shaving creams, cold creams, etc. And the third but the major function is they worker bee they go far and far to source nectars and pollens and when they visit each and every flower what they do is they help in pollination and because of that pollination it helps to increase crop production and that will help for the farmers and farmers can get more money by selling that crop production so with this uh, life cycle of honeybee is over so thank you so much